What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Pokemon Select Trainer Team Series, which is a Target exclusive series. Flygon. That's right, my Zillions. We have a Pokemon Select in the house. I believe the first of the year that I've done. Um, last one I did was Tyranitar, and that was last year. Think of, or was it at the beginning of this year? <laughs> I forget, honestly. Uh, however, I, I've slowed down on uh, the Pokemon Select. Uh, like I said, Taranto was the last one I got, and uh, you know, I haven't gotten one till now. Even though it says it's the same series, I believe Taranto was maybe, you know, put out twice. The others in the series are Toxtricity and Entei. And I don't have any plans to get these two. If I do see them in store, I might get them. But right now we do have Flygon, who I think looks really cool. And um, got a nice little box, as always. So yeah, I, I liked how this guy looked. So I figured I'd uh, grab this one for sure. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. And here's Flygon out of the package. And as you can see, it is on a Pokemon stand, uh, like the rest of them do come with. I think all of them come with a Pokemon stand, don't they? Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I think they do. But anywho, it works really well. Holds the weight of the figure nicely, so it, it's they're pretty good, these stands. I do like them. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that they do create like holes and unfortunate spots, like the middle of its belly. <laughs> But other than that, that's like the only thing to complain about really here. It, it's a really nice figure. Like most of the Pokemon selects that I reviewed here, they've been really, really nice. I think the only one I really didn't like was Greninja. Like, and that was like wave one, right? Um, otherwise, you know, everyone that I've reviewed has been pretty good. You know, you know give or take, right? Like, but pretty good mostly. Uh, again, I didn't get them all. There was a few of the birds and stuff and a couple of others in, you know, recent times that I just, I, I don't know, I just didn't feel like getting them. I uh, wasn't into them. But Flygon here, I really like. I like his green color, nice light green. You got, you know, patches of, you know, I was going to say darker green, but it is darker green, but like more of a, as uh, you would say, like a standard regular green, but it's really nice. The tail looks pretty good. I like the animated feel of these figures. They're really nice. I like the tip of the tail. That is excellent looking. It's like a nice pink around that green. It's pretty cool. Same thing with the wings. You do have all of this writing up here and over here. It's just printed on. Um, you know, it's like sculpted on, I should say. Which is cool, but like a little odd. <laughs> um, you know, I, I guess you got to put it somewhere better there than here. You know, you're going to look at it the figure here more again you got this pink going around it's kind of like a reddish pink going around um the wings and it looks pretty decent i do like them there's a little bit of a curvature to the wings which is nice as well so that's pretty cool i like his little body uh a little arms as well is nice with the white painted fingernails not so bad he does have a little bit of a scuff mark on his neck. I don't know if I could get that out or not. There's a little bit of scuff mark right there. It's not too much of a bother. Um, but yeah, this is looking pretty good. I mean, the best part about this is the head skull. First off, you got a nice little smile. That's cute. The little nose. You got the green here. You got these long, long, like, horn things going back. Or hair, whatever you want to call it. It's really cool. Looks really good. I like it. But the best, I mean, is obviously these eyes. You got the translucent red plastic over the eyes. And it looks so cool. And the eyes look like they're printed perfectly on the inside. So that is very, very cool. Look at that. That's excellent looking. So very nicely done on both sides. Looks real good. And it just makes the figure look very, very cool. He's got these little feet, like long feet here. Get a better look at that. I didn't really look at it too much. Long feet here with the little bulbous thing. Kind of reminds me of Pikachu from down here. 
right? Like that design, but you know, it's the same world. You you want to have crossover designs to make it feel connected. Um, yeah, I like it. I like Flygon. Very nice little figure. Eh, it's not even that little. <laughs> it's, it's a good figure. A uh, good looking figure for sure. And of course the articulation on this one, the wings move like so. They do the flapping. The head is very nice on a ball joint and a hinge. So real good there. Same thing at the neck. Hinge and a swivel. Actually no swivel I don't think. I can't move it around. It's just hinging back and forth. Hinge and a swivel at the shoulders. Hinge at the elbows sure you put it right uh and then uh you do have a hinge swivel at the wrist but boy I, i'm not getting much out of that hinge there so eh. then you have just a swivel at the hips and a hinge at the foot uh with a ball joint at the bottom of the foot so it works it works. It's not like the greatest, greatest articulation, but I, I think, you know, oh, of course the tail, the tail, the tail is, makes it very good. So you got a bunch of segments here that all work very, very nicely. So <laughs> almost forgot the tail that actually uh, levels it up uh, just a bit. And for your size comparison, here is a Flygon with the previously mentioned Tyranitar as well as the Fat Mojo. Blue Eyes White Dragon, as well as the Kong from SH Monster Arts, as well as a little Doug from Playmates Toys. And my final thoughts, well Flygon turned out to be really cool, I'm glad I picked it up. It's a nice little figure, uh, the head sculpt is awesome, I love those eyes, and it looked really really cool on the stand, it's very nice. Uh, and I think that's probably the way I'm going to display it. it. It just looks great on the stand. Um, of course, I do always have a problem with the little holes they put in for those stands, but I can't argue that uh, it looks bad because it doesn't. It looks really nice. So I am happy with this purchase. You know, so the last two of the Pokemon Selects that I picked up have both been good with this one and Tyranitar. Um, I still don't think I'm going to get the rest of Wave 7. We'll see uh, how things shake out as it, it, this goes. It's it's a case-by-case -case basis for me. You know, if I like how they look, if I'm familiar with them. This one is more of a, I like how it looks than being familiar with it. I'm not really familiar with this uh, particular Pokemon. But I think it looks great. And it, it turned out really uh, pretty fantastic. I really like it. It's got a lot of spunk. <laughs> And I am happy with that. So there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content. And let me help you diversify your collection. Every once in a while with some Pokemon. Till next time, peace out, peeps.